Hello, my name is Garrett Stoll, and I just want to share with you a little bit today about how God transformed my life uh, from where I used to be and to where I am now. I was 16 years old uh, when I left home, uh, moved out on my own. Um, I had a lot of hate, a lot of resentment, a lot of rebellion that was building inside of me. I knew about God, uh, I knew about heaven and hell. But uh, I didn't really want to accept that. I didn't really want to. I didn't want to give myself to God or the devil. You know, I wanted to be at a neutral place. I wanted to just be myself. Because of that, I made a lot of really bad decisions. I thought I could have a neutral ground, and by doing that, I was actually being led by evil. I went all in when it came to when it came to drugs and alcohol and sex and violence. I went all in and I took it to extremes that I should have never taken it to. I traveled the world trying to find a way to fill a void that was inside my heart some other way besides turning over my life to God or turning my life to some other entity. You know, I wanted to fill that void somehow and, and I, knew I was convinced that there was a way to do it without the spirituality stuff, you know, I was convinced of it. At one point in my life, I was just so disgusted with everything. I, I just wanted to kill myself. I didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't want to put it up with it any longer. And I can remember that night, I, I was so fed up and I grabbed a pistol and I decided I was going to play my own version of Russian roulette. I remember pulling the hammer back on that pistol. I put it to my head and I pulled the trigger. When that gun didn't go off, I just collapsed on the floor of my house and I wept. I wept all night long until I fell asleep. But that night something snapped. Instead of, instead of waking up the next morning and saying, hey, you know, God spared my life yet another time. Something snapped and I woke up the next day and decided I was going to live entirely for myself this time. And that's when I jumped off the deep end. I surrounded myself with, with friends who would straight out tell you that they worship the devil. Um, I began to make bargains with the devil myself. And the neutral ground was definitely getting farther and farther every day. I was so confused, I didn't know which way to go. And then one day, it was July 4th in 2009, God told me that on that day I needed to make a decision. I needed to choose good or evil. And God said, there's no in between. And God rolled those blinders back and I saw clear and present evil that I can't even explain. I saw a war going on between good and evil, and it was clear to me, for, finally, for the first time in my life, it was clear to me that there definitely was no neutral ground, and I definitely had to pick one way or the other. And I ran from the place where I was, and I fell on my knees, and I asked Jesus to come into my life and forgive me of my sins, and a peace like a river flowed over me and the weight and the guilt of all the things that I had done was lifted and I could breathe again and I, you know I, I used to you know, I look back at my past and and, and I was a, a I dealt drugs at one point and and now I deal in something totally different and since I became a Christian I was given the opportunity to lead three people to Christ and I want to tell you what there is no kind of adrenaline rush that compares to that. I live for that now. That's what I want to live for. And it's so real. It's more real than anything ever was in my life. And what, what used to be fear was now peace. Because I knew that when I died, I was going to go to be with God for eternity. And I just thank God for giving me another chance to be what He wants me to be. He didn't force it on me. He gave me a free will. 
and I'm glad that I chose Christ. And I'm going to con continue to choose Christ for all of my days. I'm not going to turn back from that decision. That's my story. I just give Him the praise and the glory for everything in my life.